This tutorial is going to demonstrate the process of applying EQ to tracks in Cubase. EQ uh, is short for equalization and uh, allows you to amplify or attenuate selected parts of the frequency spectrum of a sound. Uh, in this way, uh, you can emphasize, for example, the bass, the mid-range or the treble frequencies of the sound that you're working on. Uh, the EQ settings uh, can be accessed in the inspector part of the interface uh, by expanding this section here, uh, labelled equalizers. If I click on that, I can see uh, the equalizer settings for this track here. Uh, but for the purposes of demonstration, it's better to click on this button here, which is labelled edit channel settings. Now, uh, this shows us the same, exactly the same information as the inspector, uh, but in a little bit more detail. Incidentally, uh, I have one VST instrument track, which is what I'm going to be demonstrating now. This project also has an audio track, which is muted at the moment. So uh, this section here in the middle of the uh, track settings uh, allows you to adjust the EQ of the track graphically. And in Cubase, it consists of four separate filters uh, that can be switched on individually here. And so uh, once they're switched on, uh, you can adjust the parameters here. You can also adjust them in the inspector over here. So you notice that as I move the parameter here, it's also moving in the inspector. And uh, you can also adjust the parameters by dragging the nodes on the EQ graph as well. Notice that as I do this, the parameters are also moving uh, in the track settings below where I'm moving this point and also in the inspector to the left. So if I uh, play back the track uh, whilst changing the parameters, you'll hear uh, how the different parts of the frequency spectrum can be amplified or attenuated. Obviously, uh, the precise results that you get will depend on what audio you have on the track. You should be aware that when you apply uh, EQ to a track, you could be amplifying the signal, and that might cause distortion. Uh, you, we actually did see some examples of that as I was uh, moving the parameters around there, but uh, just to demonstrate again, if I apply a very large amount of gain to a particular part of the frequency spectrum. This could cause uh, distortion, uh, and that would be indicated by the clip light, uh, the audio clipping light, uh, which I'm pointing to here on the transport bar, uh, turning red. Um, we want to avoid this happening, but uh, first of all, uh, I'll just demonstrate what that looks like. So uh, we, see, we could see uh, that the clip light was lighting up there, and you could also hear that there was some distortion in the signal. Um, and so if that happens, uh, you should adjust the level fader uh, for the track in order to avoid digital clipping. If I reset this, um, reduce this down by uh, some amount, we should be able to now play back the track with these EQ settings without lighting up the clipping indicator here. Uh, 
uh, the three settings that each band of the EQ has are gain, center frequency, and Q. And you can see what each of these does on the graph as I adjust the parameters. If I enable uh, all four individual filters, this allows me to, uh, to create quite a sophisticated manipulation of the frequency content of the sound on that track. For each of the bands of the EQ, I can also choose at which type of filter uh, the, the, that gets used for that uh, band. And you can see that each of these has a slightly different behavior with respect to uh, how it treats the audio spectrum. These ones in the middle uh, can only ever be band pass, but uh, the filters at either end have various different settings which affect the behavior of the EQ curve in different ways. Like um, all parameters in Cubase, the EQ settings can be automated uh, by using the uh, write, uh, enable, and read enable settings for the track. So there we were seeing um, automated EQ. So the, uh, the process of automation is covered in greater depth in a different tutorial. EQ can also be used on audio tracks. So I have here a um, recording of uh, a vocal sample. This nation was founded by men of many nations and backgrounds. And uh, I can use uh, this section here, labeled Preset Management, uh, to choose between uh, a small selection of preset EQ settings. So if I choose the one uh, named Phone Line, I can make JFK sound like he's on the phone. It was founded on the principle that all men are created equal. The preset manager can also be used to reset uh, the EQ settings to their default state. 